Okay, we got it for you today. Everyone wants to know about new construction in Asheville. Here we go. There's a little tiny step. It's, it's, it's almost like a little diving board here. You can just... I want to give you an example of what new construction looks like in an affordable price range in Asheville. So here we are in Greenwood Fields, which is located in Woodfin, North Carolina, about 15 minutes north of downtown Asheville. Really super convenient, right off I-26, hop, skip, and a jump right to the action of downtown. This is a newly created community with about 86 homes. So not a ton, it's not super big. It has a really nice community feel since we've been here walking around. We have seen many people um, out walking dogs and walking babies and walking friends and family and talking and playing basketball and just enjoying the nice November day. Hey, I'm Beth Shadler and we are on site today exploring new construction. It's our absolute pleasure and passion to do so. So if you're interested in Nashville, hit the subscribe button, click that little bell and let us know how we can help. So just across the street, you have your neighbors and some houses are faced different ways. I don't think the builder is the same in this neighborhood for each house, which is kind of cool because every house is a little different. Some are tall and skinny. Some have wider front porches. Um, I think that's really cute. So their garage is probably on the other side, but they have a nice even driveway. Some people have made their front yard into their usable space, like these people. So the front of the house is right here, but here they have fenced off the whole front yard so that because that's probably the flat part. Because in North Carolina, we have a lot of basements, which you've probably heard me talk about already. Uh, because we are, I mean, we're on not level ground and it's very easy to get extra living space and usable space from a basement. So let's talk a little bit more about where we are in Asheville. Woodfin is right north of Asheville, about 15 minutes north of downtown and right under Weaverville. Weaverville is about 20 minutes north of Asheville. So pretty easy drive right up I-26. And what's cool about Woodfin is it is really close to the French Broad River. So if you're into kayaking or pa stand up paddle boarding or anything like that, you are in hog heaven because the French Broad is really close. Now the rapids are not huge on the French Broad River, but it is super fun in the summertime. There's another little park nearby. There's the Riverside Business Park, which is nearby. Woodfin originally was a, uh, an industrial area. So there's a lot of industry here and offices and things like that. And now as Asheville has expanded, Woodfin has too. I think in the last few years, it's grown 8% something like that. Woodfin's not a big place anyway. It's only about 7,500 people that live in Woodfin. I get a lot of people asking me about new construction in Asheville. And to tell you the truth, most of the places that are really close to downtown have already been constructed. So when you find new construction, it's usually on the outskirts of Asheville and can be quite compact. Like on the lot that we're standing on right now is only 0.13 acres, which is not super big. It also means you get to know your neighbors pretty well. So let's head on in. A lot of people, when they think about new construction, they think it's gonna be really expensive. And it can be if you're doing it on your own and you're buying everything independently. But when you get a new construction home, sometimes you end up saving a little bit of money because it's already all been done for you. So you don't have to orchestrate the lot um, and the build yourself. Here we have the main living area with the living room, gas fireplace. This is a big draw for people, especially living in the, in the mountains where it can get kind of chilly in the winter. This is a large space here for a dining room table. And what's cool about this house, for some people, not for all, is it's on different levels. So really there's two levels for living and then down below you'll see that we have a garage. Now that can be a lot of stairs for people. One of the biggest requests that I get is that they want something all on one level. Well, we're in the mountains, so that's something that you really need to think about. It is not so common. We have an open floor plan, which is awesome. So you can be in the kitchen, talking to somebody who's eating, and then also not separated from someone who is in the living room as well. We'll go outside in just a minute. 
And here's one of the things I love about this house is that there's a pantry space right here, right off the kitchen that is accessible easily, not only in the kitchen, but in the dining room as well. So what's cool about this is that there's so much light coming in right now. It's like 3.30, 4 o'clock in a November afternoon that we forgot to even turn the lights on. So that's really nice to have in a home where you have nice natural light. So on the main level, we have a thousand square feet, which is really convenient. And let's think about, here's the primary bedroom. Everybody loves a primary bedroom on the main floor. And bonus points, you can go right from the bedroom into the backyard. So that's great if you have a dog that you need to let out morning and nighttime. You have a closet here. The closets are pretty big too. We could even like have an office in here. And the bathroom's not shabby either. I mean, everything's real. So we have real wood, we have real tile, we have granite on the countertops. You're probably wondering how much this costs. I'll tell you, don't worry. This shower is huge. So this is what I do. I'm a realtor in Asheville and I help people move here all the time. So it's my passion and pleasure to do so. So feel free to reach out via email, text, Call, whatever your pleasure, and we'd be glad to help you create a personalized plan for you. I kind of think if I did use this bathroom, though, I'd need a curtain. But you do have a deck, and what's great is that the deck is also accessible from the kitchen. So if you want to put a grill out here and you want to eat outside, this place is pretty, pretty sheltered. And you could even put up a little fence back here. Now, remember, this is new construction, so it's not like the yard is going to be manicured yet. Yeah, there's going to be established trees. Um, you can see other people have put up little fences, I'm sure for a reason. Do you think, do you wanna go check out the second floor? Now upstairs we have carpet and we have about 730 square feet, two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom. Let's check it out. I love homes that have a Jack and Jill bathroom. You know what that is, right? It's where it's connected. So at first you're like, okay, bedroom, bedroom. Big closet again. And then you walk through and you're like, oh, I have a little sink here. How fabulous. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> so you can walk right through, how cool. Now we have a bathtub right here and another sink. So both people in both bedrooms can be washing up, brushing their teeth, no problem. So here we have the second bedroom, reminiscent of the first. Large closets in here too and really plush soft carpet. And one of the favorite things that I love about upstairs bedrooms are when you have a ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, laundry room right here. Makes sense, right? Right near the bedrooms. We're kind of high up here. I see some mountains in the distance. So there's a lot of people who have asked me about new construction lately, and I think it's because they don't want the bother of like finding a home and having to do a bunch of construction projects, which I totally understand. Um, and this kind of guarantees the latest and greatest in technology and workmanship and everything like that. And this same builder who, who builds this house also works with Southcliff, and that is a really well-known new construction area as well in Asheville, so check that one out. We'll make a video about it too. We're gonna to be making more new construction videos because it is a hot thing right now. People wanna know about this, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna learn more about Asheville in general, you can hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be alerted when that video comes out. What do you think's downstairs? This is, it's always been my dream to be a rock and roll star. So that's how I was going to enter into the, into the show. And everybody's going to go, what? Just kidding. Garage is quite big. And there's a couple little secrets to the garage too, which is cool. So you could double park two, like this is a two car garage, but you know, you got to move a car. So you could park a car back here, or it could be like a workshop area and have a car here. And then you have enough space in the driveway as well. Um, and then here's the whole electrical area, the utilities room. 
So this will have your HVAC system, your heating and cooling, and your um, hot water heater as well. There's some space in here. Because there's a whole other room in here. Now, it's not heated. Is it heated? No, it's not heated and it's not finished. So it's not going to count as square footage. And also, there's no windows in here. So I say it could be a twofer because it's a lot of storage. It could be an office if you don't like sun. But anyway, you could finish this out and do something with it. Or you could just, oh, you know what you could do? You could use it as a media room if it was heated. You could put a little fireplace down here and use it as a media room. That's what I would do. Even though it's off the garage. It could be a man's cave. That's where we put the guys. We are in Greenwood Fields. So here's a perfect example of some pipe people have a problem with a little bit of a steep driveway. And in the photos in real estate, sometimes you can't really tell how steep a driveway is. But you could get a good run and go on this. Like, <laughs> if you were little and riding, like, a trike, you, you would get some speed. Should we look around a little bit? Let's go check out and see what the neighborhood's like. So in Woodfin too, you're in the North Buncombe School District. So if that's important to you, you can look it up on niche.com or greatschools.com and kind of see the ratings for North Buncombe. The sun is just getting ready to set. We are in November, so it happens kind of quickly. But it's a beautiful time of the day. And I've seen a lot of people walking. This is where we were down there that white house you see i mean this is just a brand new neighborhood so people have not yet put up their fences and created privacy i mean if it were me i would put up some evergreen trees that created a natural privacy fence and there's different sized homes here too they're not all not all the same but they are really well made it looks like so there you have it, new construction in Greenwood Fields, Woodfin, North Carolina, 15 minutes from downtown. How much is this going to run you? Do you want to guess? Guess down below. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you. Don't worry. I'll tell you how much this is going to be. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? $4.99. Oh, if you want to learn more about Asheville, then like and subscribe, and you can watch this video and this video, and you'll be hooked up.